Okay, YouTube, it's Sunday, Mother's Day, May 13th, I think. As you can see, it is not a beautiful day today. But I just realized it's been two weeks since I've done a video. And I'll show you what we're up to. Of course, you'll already see the title to this by the time I put this up. But you'll know this is not a Power Stroke video. To be honest with you, I haven't touched a Power Stroke since the MBRP exhaust installation video which of course I removed because I told you I'm going to sandblast it and paint it with the exhaust paint but I think in my last video after the hailstorm oops that's zeroed in I told you I was going to do some upgrades to my sandblaster I'm going to show you what I've done and what I'm going to do originally I just wanted to uh, put a new glass in the, in the lid and just get back to what I was doing but I've been wanting to do some upgrades to this homemade sandblasting cabinet for a long time There's a, it's been doing the job but a lot of things about it that's been aggravating me first thing I did I made a new door here is my door it's I spent quite a bit of time on it actually I just wanted it to be a good snug fit as you can see you have to slam it down but I want it that way but it does you can grab one handle and Yank it up. I'm hoping it fits so tight I don't need a latch. So we've got that part done. Of course, mounted on hinges. Just made a took some one inch by one inch square tubing, which I bought from Lowe's, and I don't recommend doing that because the price of it is like triple if you go to a steel supplier, at least double. Maybe not triple, but I bet it's a little bit more than double. It was ridiculous. And I had these steel plates already here. Welded them in piece of Lexan is going to be covering this whole open area bent up these handles this morning like I said before mounted on hinges the other thing already done this is already on some some delicate wheels as I like to call them they were off of a, the wheels that it used to be on was off of an old TV that I uh, threw away but it was better than nothing but I went ahead and Bought some of these caster wheels with locks. I also reinforced the legs with some of this tubing. Actually, it's just some old uh, chain link fence tubing for the top rail. You know, the top rail on the fence. I just cut that up, cut it on 45, welded them up to brace it. I had it level to where it wouldn't rock. Actually, right now it's not rocking. Actually, my floor is not level. See right there, it rocks. That well, still rocks, yeah. But uh, I'm going to have to... I just tack welded them wheels on for now. I'm going to reinforce those because I had it leveled where it wouldn't rock, but if you go to fooling around with it, those uh, flimsy brackets that the wheels came with will bend. I got some quarter inch thick steel plates. I'm going to cut them, uh, cast the wheels back off. Like I said, they're just tack welded. I'm going to weld these on good and solid, and that way we have a good solid base. and. And if it's uh, uneven, I can shim them up. I'll just bolt the caster wheels to the plates that I weld on. Other thing I've done, I went ahead and tore all the bottom out. I don't know. This sandblaster is shown in some of my videos when I sandblasted all the chassis parts and frame parts for the truck. But I had a, I had fabricated kind of a, kind of a funnel. It was just a mangled mess of sheet metal and pot rivets. I'll show you all the crap I ripped out of it. Hold my hammer sideways. Step out into this beautiful weather. But right here's all the junk that I tore out of it. It was a mess. It leaked. There were pockets in that thing where I kept double layering my sheet metal work over top of each other. It was holding sand. There's probably about 10 pounds of sand stuck in there. Get my umbrella back where it's supposed to hang. So, what I did, like I said, I cut all that out nice and clean, and I'm going to make a good solid funnel at the bottom. I'm going to try to bend it up the best I can and weld it all together. If you look over there, underneath that piece of Lexan leaning against the wall is a 4x8 sheet of uh, hot rolled steel, which I picked up from the from our row steel company here in Louisville. That entire sheet costs less than, cost about the same 
there's a four by four sheet from Lowe's. If you can get it, I bet it. If you can get it from Lowe's, actually, I didn't price it. I'd be willing to bet it's the same. Four by eight sheet is ninety six bucks. It was one hundred and four after taxes, and you're better off buying a whole sheet from one of those steel companies than uh, asking them to cut you off a piece of four by four because they charge you almost as much for the steel to cut it. And if you're like me, you're always making something in your garage, and it's always handy to have that steel. And by the way, that is 16 gauge, which is about 59 thousandths thick. So I'll have all that steel to play with, and we're going to try to do a nice, neat job. Build us a funnel in here, weld it to the bottom of this. Actually, it'll be welded to the frame right here. And at the bottom, I'm going to put like a, I'm going to get like a gas valve. And that way, the biggest one I can find, or something big enough to where a lot of sand can come out quick. That way, if I ever want to drain it, replace the sand, all I gotta do is open that valve. I realize that I should be working on my truck, but sometimes you guys take the time and uh, get your equipment the way you want it. And let's see, there's one more thing I was going to do. You see these hose all cut out while I've done some trial and error, and had my hose too small, too high. To fix that problem and to make it look better. Instead of fabricating that, I went ahead and well, Angel's in my way. I gotta step over her. She doesn't like this rainy weather either. And I bought this kit. Actually, it wasn't bad. 18 bucks. Two of these plastic glove cups or sleeves. Comes with clamps, gasket and a plate of steel which perfectly covers I'm trying to do something with one hand again which perfectly covers up that mess that I made when I cut it all out just going to bolt that to it probably put some sealer behind it and since I'm going to so much trouble to make this thing look halfway decent I'm going to paint this sandblaster too even though I should be working on the truck like I said before also bought some new, nice, big, long, I think they're 20-inch gloves. Oh, yeah, one more thing I'm going to do. I don't know how this idea is going to work. This is going to be my filter system. A shop box is going to hook to that. I'll have to adapt to it. I'm going to fit that in there like that, fasten it somehow. This, what All this is, you can get any hardware store, Home Depot or Lowe's, is it's a... Drain, floor drain for concrete. But once you take that sticker off, you've got all these vents. And to keep sand from getting into my shop back, I'm going to clamp a shop back the cheap paper filter over top of it. i got some six inch clamps that will go around that, or five and a half. I don't know how well that's going to work, but I'm going to try it. Hopefully, that will keep the dust out without sucking all the sand or a lot of the sand that's flying around into my shop back. So, enough of my blabbing. Um, like I said, today's Mother's Day, so I'm going to have to go inside and clean up for now. It's, mm, it's about 20 till 12. So, at least I got out here after work yesterday. And that's another rant. It's another reason I haven't made any videos. Had to work Saturday. Uh, they increased my hours through the week. They just, it just keeps getting worse and worse. Having less and less of my own time to work on the stuff that I want to work, want to work on. It's getting frustrating. For all you younger people out here to watch this, if you're looking for a career, do not get a job in a factory. You are not allowed to have a life of your own. They, I work in a non-union factory, and they pretty much. If you think you're going to be off Saturday, you can be putting your tools away on a Friday afternoon and they will run up to you at the last minute and tell you you have to work. It's happened to me a bunch of times. Very frustrating, but that's something else I want to start talking about in my videos and I'm hoping something that I want to happen in the future will unfold in all my videos. Is My house and property is 15 months away from being paid off. And I've always dreamed about being self-employed, doing pretty much what I'm doing in my videos, working on old cars and trucks and my race car. There's a lot of stuff I've done that I feel like I can make money at. I need to advertise myself. Uh, 
I think this channel is a good start of what I can do. I'm not supposed to sell any business on the channel, and I won't. But I am going to let people know that I'm out there, and I'm after I get some of my own projects out of the way, I'm a home paid for. I'm going to start getting some work rolling in here for some other people, I hope. Some of the things I've done for other people in the past is, uh, of course, I built my own race car. And I can't wait to get this truck in here. Or get this truck out of here, running and out of here, and done. So I can get my race car in here and give you a good close-up view of all the work I've done to it. I built the chassis on it, front suspension, rear ladders bar suspension, installed a roll cage. I did everything to that car. Made the floor, fabricated the floor out of aluminum. And I've done two or three other cars over throughout my life for other people. Made a little money off of it. And I want to get more of that in here. And I want to hopefully retire at a relatively young age. I'm 45 now. And do that for a living. So now that I got that off my chest, it's just, you know, I just want the freedom. And when you're a drag racer, you almost need to be self-employed to do any good at it because when you have to work every weekend and you don't know whether you're going to work until the last minute, that... That's very frustrating. Anyway, i kind of gotten off the subject, but I just, for my viewers that have subscribed, I just want to get that out there. And i got a couple more new subscribers. Thank you. Uh, i got a few comments I haven't replied to yet. I'll get right to you. I think Crazy Redneck left two or three. Thanks for all the comments. I replied to one of them. I'm going to try to get with you on the rest of them. So, I will... I think I'll go ahead and put this video up just to let everybody know that I'm, I'm still here since I've gone two weeks without posting a video. And we'll put up another video and try to show a little bit more of the work I'm doing to the sandblast. And hopefully we get this thing done and knocked out by next weekend. Don't know if I'll have to work next week or not. I'm hoping I won't. See how that works out. But you got to make the best out of a bad situation. I'm going to save the overtime and that's going to help me do what I'm going to do that much more. Buy more equipment so I can be a little bit better at what I do. Okay, I'm going to call this a video. We'll call it Sandblaster Project Part 1 plus a little rant. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Appreciate the hell out of it. Stay tuned.